A very important application of WDS spectroscopy is also the quantification of chemical composition of the locations, the features within the sample. The first operation is to move to the location onto the sample and turn the magnification to a value higher than 1,000 magnification. In this particular case, I've increased it to 10,000 magnification. The next thing you need to do is to move to the click on the standards tab in the lower right hand quadrant and add elements to the standards in use table. This is the same operation that you would use for full standards EDS quant. You just have to perform it for all of the elements for the WDS that are required. Once you select all of these for the WDS, you notice those elements turn magenta or a pink color in the periodic table, meaning the system will absolutely test for those elements during the quantification purpose. The next tab that needs to be done is on the analysis setup tab that we need to change the quantification method to be one of the with standards. The most popular one is the filter with standards methodology so that it will use the standards that we have selected. The next thing that we need to verify is the on the processing tab that we now want to perform quantification and once we click on the quantification the WDS peak identification disables because the WDS can only perform the peak ID or the quantification it cannot do both so we want to do the quantification so that is a new selection that is needed for the WDS analyses. The next thing we would like to do is go to the WDS setup and select the elements that are necessary that we want to perform the quantification on. It is possible to set these elements from the periodic table, but we can also select them from this large table uh, to make sure that the system will analyze these elements with the WDS. So that is the setup uh, that is uh, required for this. There is one last setup, which is actually the most important setup which is in the acquisition properties that we enable this checkbox for the WDS. Acquire WDS elements simultaneously for quantitative analysis. So whenever the EDS acquisition starts, it notes that this checkbox is enabled and so it enables and begins the WDS subset portion of the system and it starts to acquire the WDS parameters. So we hit OK on that. Once everything else is set up, we have the auto alignment button on in the WDS setup so it will automatically align and we just hit go on the EDS acquisition. So now it starts to perform. For visualization and feedback purposes we can go to the WDS tool and see what it is performing over there and we can go to the WDS acquisition. And so now the WDS perform is performing the first thing it does is it performs an auto alignment procedure using the highest intensity peak at the highest energy that the algorithm has determined. In this particular case, the nickel K. It then populates all of the elements that it will perform the WDS analysis for and lists those in the WDS acquisition status in the lower left hand quadrant. And then you can see in the lower right hand quadrant, it's giving you a feedback of what analyses it's performing. So it's performing analyses on the peak, the low background, and the high background for each of the elements in succession based on the maximum number of time or a statistical parameter to stop the termination. So now it is working on the cobalt element. It completes the cobalt element, updates it in the lower left hand quadrant, proceeds on to the next element, in this particular case nickel. You notice it, is, it has sorted the elements in a very uh, orderly method for the elements in the left hand quadrant that it's staying on the lift crystal, then it moves to the pet, then the tap to minimize the amount of motion that is needed for the spectrometer so that it moves and performs all of the motions on one crystal from low energy to high energy and then goes on to each of the subsequent diffractors. Is on the yttrium, very, very low uh, amplitude intensity on the yttrium. You can see the rate meter is very low values.
so it must go for a longer acquisition time based on statistics. And now on the peak for the yttrium, it is still a very low amplitude at this particular time. The WDS performs uh, acquisitions on the peak for a given amount of time, and then it performs the acquisitions on each of the low energy background and the high energy background at one half of the amount of time that the peak time is. So for instance, the peak time is 30 seconds, the low background is 15, the high background is 15, then it does a linear interpolation of those two values and doubles it and then subtracts off the background intensity from the primary intensity to get the net intensity. So now it is collecting for the yttrium. L is completed that. It goes back to the aluminum K alpha now. And we can see there is a finite intensity on the aluminum. We can adjust the background by clicking on the clear history and it adjusts the vertical full scale. And the WDS is completed. And we can go over to the quantitative results. And we see what the, this is the WDS quantification is at the top with the counts, background counts, net counts, time, counts per second per nanoamp. That final value is what it uses for the quantification. And then we have the final quantification that we have for each of the elements going down. And it provides what the uh, weight percent of each of the analyses are.